on guys this is our redux and welcome back to another video in freaking real life for once haven't done many of these um, hope to do many more but um, today it's time to be an idiot because uh, well what's something that you probably shouldn't have when you are you know going to bed it's pretty dark I'm dark oh no there you go what well, what should you not have when you're going to bed well Probably this. Probably shouldn't have, you know, sugar based shish. But I'm stupid. So, let's crack it open. Now, actually, before we do that, here, come here. There you go. I have a problem with my teeth. Um, there was a period of about one year where I didn't brush at all, which was horrible. Never do that because your teeth quite literally will fall out of your head. So, don't do that shish. And brush your fucking teeth. So anyway, because of that, I can't eat licorice anymore, but I'm going to anyway. So let's make it as good and possible as we can by cutting it up. So how are we going to do that? Well, first we're going to position the camera. So we basically need to make these things smaller. I mean, they're pretty much just licorice sticks, so we can probably cut them into bites if we're careful. So how about we do that? Well, we should probably pick a different knife because the knife, ooh, Jesus. Because the knife that I was gonna use, it's pretty puny, just a butter knife. So I was thinking, one of these. Yeah, that looks good. But what else do we need? Well, we need something to put the damn licorice in, so, well, naturally, I have a solution for that as well. Tell me why, I don't know. It's just a little, um, bowl thing. Isn't that cute? A little mini bowl. So, that's gonna house our licorice pieces. I'm not gonna cut all these up, like, all of these won't fit in here, but I'll just cut like maybe a quarter of them. But I don't want to cut directly on the damn counter, because one, that would be messy and sticky. My parents would probably kick me out, and uh, I don't really want counter juice on my licorice. So what are we going to do about this? Well... That was really louder than I was thinking it would be. But whatever. We got our cooking board. Oh. So let's crack this open. Put a hole in the cutting board. Ooh, that smells nice. Ah. I'm so nostalgic to the smell of these. Okay, well, we got them open. Now what? Well, now let's just take them out. Take out just a few. Let's uh, see that amount. And what am I gonna do with the rest? Ah, crap. Ah, crap. When in doubt, Ziploc sack. <laughs> Bam. Sealed Zipcock. Okay, now for these ones. This is gonna be a bit messy. Okay, let's do this thing. No, wait, wait we need them all to be the same. Like, okay. That kind of work. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mmm, delicious. It's gonna take a while. I'm sure, there's people that could do this in a split second, but I'm not one of those. Sorry. The heck? There's particulates on my stuff. You just have to put a bunch of pressure, and bam. I guess this is something you could do if you are having teeth problems and you still want to eat sugary crap, which you shouldn't. But I guess this is a way to go about it that won't literally force the tooth, force the teeth out of your head. Because I've had my teeth come out twice because of these things, just eating them as they come in the package. So I kind of need to do this, and they're so good that I'm willing to do so. Bam! Now somehow get them all into the thing. These like feel these feel like little erasers, except they're much more sticky. 
trying to turn back into sucrose. I mean, they're almost pure sucrose as it is. Well, there we go. Pretty dirty blade. I'll wash that off. Someone else do the rest. And that is a lot of marks. Oh, hi, Mark. There you go. Well, that's how to turn that into that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next live stream, short, or video. Whatever that may be. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your evening. See you guys.